in this lecture we will try and derive beta 1 hat and beta 2 hat let us see how to go about it we know that the sample regression function can be written as yi is equal to yi hat plus ui hat here yi hat is nothing but beta 1 hat plus beta 2 hat xi and we know that this yi hat is actually a counterpart of expectation of y given xi this is something which is there in the population regression function okay so the sample regression function can actually be written as yi is equal to yi hat plus cy from here we can go ahead and say that ui hat is equal to yi minus yi hat let us go ahead and square both sides squaring both sides give ui hat square is equal to yi minus yi hat square let's sum on both sides so summing both sides this would give me submission ui hat square is equal to submission yi hat yi minus yi hat whole square now you know why am i not trying to minimize my error term directly in order to derive beta 1 hat and beta 2 hat this is because i know that on an average my error terms are zero some error terms are positive some error terms are negative but they average out to zero because the average of the error terms is zero we cannot minimize the sum of the error terms the only way to kind of go about the process is to minimize sum of the square of the error terms this is the only way to kind of derive the optimal value of beta 1 hat and beta 2 hat so i am doing exactly the same process i am going to find what my submission ui hat square is and then i would minimize it to derive beta 1 hat and beta 2 hat so ui square is yi minus yi hat whole square submission ui hat square is submission yi minus yi hat whole square let us go ahead and minimize this but before that we know that y i hat is beta 1 hat plus beta 2 hat x i so substituting let's name this equation 2 let's name this equation 1 substituting equation 2 in equation 1 if i do that what will i get submission ui hat square is equal to submission yi minus beta 1 hat minus beta 2 hat xi just understand this i have to find the optimal values of beta 1 hat and beta 2 hat in order to find the optimal values what can i do i can differentiate this function so let's differentiate this equation with respect to beta 1 hat and beta 2 hat if i 
I differentiate it with respect to beta one hat? This is summation u i hat whole square differentiated with respect to beta one hat. This will be look here. This has a power attached to it. So I will, you know, some if I have to differentiate the function x square, its differentiation will be two x. So the power will come down, right? So I I will be bringing down the power submission y i minus beta one hat minus beta two hat x i into differentiation of whatever is inside. So its differentiation. With respect to beta one is just minus one to zero. How minus one? Just look here. The differentiation of y i with respect to beta one will be zero. There is no beta one hat here. Differentiation of minus beta one hat with respect to beta one will be minus one. Differentiation of minus beta two hat with respect to x i uh, with respect to beta one will again be zero. So this entire function differentiated with respect to beta one hat will give minus one. So here my equation that I have will be two submission y. I, I can bring this minus out. So minus two submission y i minus beta one hat minus beta two hat x i. Equal to zero. I can rewrite this as submission y i minus beta one hat minus beta two hat x i is equal to zero. I will name this equation as equation a. Now let's differentiate this with respect to beta two hat. So differentiating equation with respect. To beta two hat. What was my equation? My equation was summation u i hat whole square is equal to summation y i minus beta one hat minus beta two hat x i whole square. So if I differentiate this with respect to beta two hat, I will get two submission y i minus beta one hat. Minus beta two hat x i, and then I have to differentiate whatever is inside with respect to beta two. So let's see this. This doesn't have any beta two in it, so its differentiation with respect to beta two will be zero. This also doesn't have beta two in it, so its differentiation with respect to beta two hat will be zero. And this, its differentiation with respect to beta two hat will be x i, followed by a negative sign. So minus x i is equal to zero. Okay. So if I kind of bring this minus sign out, I can get this equation as minus two submission y i. Minus beta one hat minus beta two hat x i into x i is equal to zero. Let's solve this out. If you solve this, you will get summation y i minus beta one hat minus beta two hat x i into x i is equal to zero, or summation x i y i. Minus submission beta one hat x i minus submission beta two hat x i square is equal to zero. Let me name this as equation B. So I have this as equation B, and what I had as equation A was this. I'm going to solve these equations a bit more. To do that, I'm going to use the rules of summation. So, whenever you have summing up of any constant n times, that gives you n times the constant. Whenever you have summing up of a constant multiplied by a variable n times, 
you can bring the constant out and sum the variable itself. Okay. Let's see what this means. See, this first part, this means that if I have 4 getting summed up 10 times, then this can be simply written as 4 into 10 if it is getting summed up 10 times. If 4 is multiplied by 5, then 4 is multiplied by 6, then 4 is multiplied by 7 and this is getting summed up, you can bring 4 out and you can just sum this variable 5 plus 6 plus 7 and so on. So this is this and this is this. Okay. I'm going to use these two rules. So let's go, go to equation A. If I solve equation A a bit more, I get summation yi minus summation beta 1 hat minus submission beta 2 hat xi is equal to 0. And I can rewrite this thing as summation yi minus n beta 1 hat minus beta 2 hat submission xi is equal to 0. So this becomes my final equation after solving equation A. I will actually go ahead and name this as equation A. Okay. Submission yi minus n beta 1 minus beta 2 submission xi is equal to 0. Let's solve the other one. If I similarly apply the rule here, I will have the following. I can write this as submission xi yi minus beta 1 hat submission xi minus beta 2 hat submission xi square is equal to 0. I will actually write this as equation. Okay. Let's write down the two equations together. The first equation that I derived was submission yi is equal to n beta 1 hat plus beta 2 hat submission xi. And the second equation I have is submission xi yi is equal to beta 1 hat submission xi square plus beta 2 hat submission, sorry, beta 1 hat submission xi plus beta 2 hat submission x square. These two equations are called normal equations. A lot of times whenever we are trying to prove anything, I will directly use these normal equations. I will say from normal equation 1 or from normal equation 2. And you have to understand that these equations were actually derived as a process of minimizing the sum of the square of the error terms. Now you can use Kramer's rule here. So what I will do is Kramer's rule will be n submission xi submission xi submission xi square you can instead of using uh, this will be okay instead of using the Kramer's rule you can also you know maybe solve these equations so from here by substitution from here you can find the value of beta one hand plug that value here and then solve for the value of beta two Alternatively, you can directly use the Kramer's rule. To use the Kramer's rule, we actually go ahead and represent our equations in form of a matrix. So this will be beta 1 hat, beta 2 hat is equal to submission yi, submission psi yi. So all of us know what matrix multiplication is, right? This gets multiplied by this 
plus this gets multiplied by this. So if you do that, you will get the first equation n beta one hat plus beta two hat summation x i is equal to summation y i. This is the first equation. Similarly, for the second equation, summation x i into beta one hat plus summation x i squared into beta two hat is equal to summation x i y i. We get the second equation. So this way, what I have done is I have actually gone ahead and I have represented my equations in form of a matrix. Then the Cramer's rule is simple. To find beta one hat, which means to find the first value, you replace the first column with this. So I will replace the first column with submission yi, submission xi yi, and I will keep the second column as is. So I will keep the second column as submission xi, submission xi square. I will find its determinant and divide it by the determinant of the actual matrix, which was this. So n submission x i square submission x i submission x i square. I don't have a square here. This is my actual matrix. This will give me the value of beta one hat. So what will be its determinant? In order to find the determinant, you cross multiply and subtract. So it will be submission y i submission x i square minus submission x i submission x i y i upon its determinant will be n submission x i square minus submission x i whole square. Is that fine? This will be the value of beta one hat. In order to find beta two hat, you will substitute the second column. So you will no more substitute the first column. You will substitute the second column with this. Find the determinant and divide by the determinant of the actual matrix. So if instead of this column, I write this, what do I get? I will get determinant of n submission xi submission yi submission xi yi upon determinant of n submission xi submission xi submission xi square its determinant would be n submission xi yi minus submission xi submission yi upon n submission xi square minus submission xi whole square. This is the value of beta 2 hat. So therefore, what we have done is we have derived the optimal values of beta 1 hat and beta 2 hat. These values of beta 1 hat and beta 2 hat minimize the sum of the errors uh, squared and therefore they are the optima values that you have derived.